It has been three weeks since Agneta released her new album. Since then, this channel was basically taken over by Agneta's friend and producer Jürgen Elofsson. But today, I am back. And Agneta is back as well. With a new video, new interviews and with chart positions around the world. Let's bring it all together. Hey, hey. So, A Plus was mainly promoted by Jürgen Elofsson. He gave interviews not only on my channel, but for many newspapers and TV stations. The evening before the album was released, Jürgen was in London for a Dolby Atmos listening event and Q&A. However, Agneta herself also mingled with us from the comfort of her home. And she even gave four exclusive interviews for major newspapers. The first two came in the UK and Sweden, and two other ones were just recently published in Germany and the Netherlands. There are some real highlights to read, and here are some of my favorite moments. Agneta was very surprised with the worldwide success of ABBA and their unique comeback, and she felt the love for the group and for Voyage. She also talked about the process of creating the Voyage show, and how difficult it was for her in the beginning. She was a bit suspicious. She said, I'll be totally honest, I was not so comfortable with it. But after maybe four or five days, you get into it. Okay, I'll go there again. And somewhere along the way, I could just feel proud. They really want to see us again. She also talked about the joy of the entire process, that the four ABBA members laughed a lot and talked about the good old times. For Agneta, she said it was especially unique because she could spend time with Frida again. I really love reading these interviews. There is one special bit that we really have to talk about in a standalone video soon, a personal wish of Agneta. By the way, the interview in Sweden was conducted by Jan Kratval. He became an important part of ABBA's legacy in the last 10 years. In 2014, he wrote the liner notes for their live album Wembley and he helped ABBA with their official photo book. He was also seen in the introduction film for the historic Voyage livestream and it was him who interviewed Björn and Benny for the 45-minute Q&A on ABBA's YouTube channel. Right now, Jan Kratval released a new book about ABBA which should be released in English sometime next year. Apart from the interviews, Agneta also gave some special greetings over the past few weeks. First of all, we saw her in a special message for UK television's Lorraine, introducing the video premiere of her new song. She gave an interview for UK Radio, which we talked about on the channel, and she also sent two audio greetings to us, talking about her new song. The first one was broadcast on BBC Radio 2 for Vernon Kay, where she thanked BBC for making the single Record of the Week, and she explained what the song is about. The second greeting came to her official social media channels, where she talked about the creation of the song. And this week, Agneta is back with a new video. Well, her cartoon substitute is. Back on your radio received a brand new animated lyric video. It was once again animated by Josh Twist and is a seamless continuation of the visuals established with the first video, continuing the overall aesthetic. As I said before, enjoying this juvenile approach is completely subjective, of course, but I really enjoyed it from the beginning. It fits the light-hearted approach of A+, and is another unexpected element of this project. This is the second video for A+, but the first for one of the reworked songs. Back on your radio is the fifth single from the album. That means that, except for I Was a Flower, the entire A-side has now been released as singles. And with A+, Agneta is back on the charts around the world. The album entered the charts in Sweden on number one. It reached number three in Switzerland, number five in Denmark, Finland, Germany and Australia, number six in Austria and number nine in the Netherlands. You will find more information on Agneta's official social media channels, including details about the separation of physical, digital and combined charts. In the UK, the album reached number 7 on the independent album charts and even the original album A re-entered those charts on number 8. On the day of the album release, A Plus reached the top 10 in 21 countries, 6 of them number 1. It also reached number 12 in Italy and number 15 in the USA. And for the last part of this video, I want to present some of your thoughts about the album, because the range of opinions is fascinating. About the new arrangement of songs, people say it's like a continuation or a part two. Even with the new versions, the character of each song has been kept. Someone wrote, both A and A plus reflect different times in my life. I love both. 
Another one described the new album as a revamped, chill-out session with new input. A Blas has turned out so nicely, fresh and very contemporary, some songs have sort of been given a second life with the new arrangements. A Blas has a more mature feel to it than A, and this is why I love this new album. I also like the following descriptions. I absolutely love the new sounds of A Blas. The stripped, at times minimalistic approach is very edgy and fresh. The new treatment feels like a spring cleaning on some songs, but at times it's quite shocking, and for me that's a real plus. There have been opposite opinions as well. The whole project is baffling to one, someone else just don't like electropop auto-tuned dance versions. The music sounds too synthetic and computerized, preferring actual musicians instead of a synthesizer. Despite some criticism about effects and autotune on her vocals, many people also noted how the new versions bring out Agneta's voice. According to some, the voice stands out more in the new mix, is noticeably clearer than in A, and the new arrangements also show even better what a brilliant vocalist she is. One commentator, and certainly many of us would agree with this, prefer Agneta's natural voice, but appreciates how Agneta plays with digital tools. For her, it's an exciting new chapter in her life as a vocal genius. I have to hand it to Agneta for her willingness to explore and experiment. This is not a long stay on this planet, and to keep creating in her 70s is amazing. Another one outright hates autotune, but likes it here as a light special effect. One even felt that some songs with the autotune are giving a different creative process to her amazing voice. One of the most interesting aspects of opinions are those that changed as soon as they heard the entire album as one entity. I wasn't sure at first until I heard all of the songs together. It was better than I thought it would be. Funny how listening to the entire album changed my opinion about some songs. Now I like them all and I find the A-plus album very interesting and valid. I had my reservations when listening to the first couple of tracks, but I love it and prefer it to A. It's amazingly beautiful. To some, this is even their new favorite of Agneta's solo work. And it even reaches the youngest audience. Back on your radio is groovy enough for my kids to approve. One of the biggest and most pleasant surprises for me. And finally, a comment from one of our youngest viewers. The first impression I felt from the album is emotional. My favorite songs are I Keep Them on the Floor Beside My Bed and Where Do We Go From Here. I am 14 and this is my first time experiencing this. I love Agneta as a solo artist. Thank you all for giving your comments and feedback always open, honest and respectful. My personal review for the entire album is yet to come, and as I said, we will discuss that special wish of Agneta, which she mentioned in an interview, soon in a standalone video. For now, I hope you enjoyed this collage of everything that came up so far, including the new video and all those chart positions of A+. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Alright, until then, hey do!